right, here is the progress on the rock garden that has taken so long to complete. Um, we finally have all the rocks. Here you can see the color of them. There's gorgeous uh, orange pea gravel. Um, I think it will look really nice. Um, I got a few more plants planted here. Got a new uh, Hesperello parviflora. Um, we got an eternal fragrance Daphne right here, or Daphne transatlantica. Really gorgeous. Um, it's a little wilted right now because it is extremely hot, and I just planted this. Um, but the fragrance of this of these uh, flowers are unreal. I can smell it from uh, like 20 feet away. It's extremely strong. Got my needle palm planted finally. I'm gonna be getting that one in soon. Um, it has been so unbearably hot that uh, basically any plant that I plant has uh, done really poorly because this spot is just the hottest spot of my whole entire yard. Um, I planted a California fuchsia here. You can see I had a bunch of flowers, but it is uh, kind of suffering here. Um, this is a native plant. It grows all over the hillsides around my house and uh, it is still suffering here, um, being transplanted at this time. So um, I'm still waiting for a few more plants. Um, I decided I'm changing a few things up. So I was gonna be putting in three needle palms here, but uh, I decided on just having the two, and then I'm gonna be planting an Ocotillo in the middle, or a Focaria splendens. Um, it's a pretty tender plant for my area. I have seen a few others um, as some uh, private, um, you know, like private houses in Salt Lake City. So I know they can survive here as long as they're uh, planted against the south facing wall. Um, it's one of my absolute favorite desert plants and I've always wanted to give one a try. So uh, I'm gonna be heading down to St. George probably within the next uh, few weeks. Um, St. George, Utah, which is about two hours south of here, um, to pick up a nice Ocotillo to go right there in the middle, um, as well as a giant Hesperallo, which will be going right here. Um, and then if they have it, an Arbutus um, Unido. Um, if not, I'll just uh, order that online. So uh, I have an Arbutus Unido Compacta right here, giant Hesperallo, um, Ocotillo, um, my yucca rostrata is coming with the trunk. It's about uh, three to four feet tall. Um, and then all that's left is my uh, agave ovatifolia, which is about uh, already two to three feet wide. It's already a big specimen. Uh, that's coming in the mail as well. That's gonna be going right here. So it's just a few more plants. Um, we'll be putting the drip irrigation system in here soon. Um, and it is supposed to rain all next week, so I'll be able to actually work out here. Um, it is seriously, like, I've only been able to work for a few minutes without, like, almost getting heat exhaustion. It is, like, so incredibly hot in this spot. Um, so, I am uh, excited about this. It's taken a really long time. Um, but uh, I just want to do it right. Um and it's already turned out really, really good, I think. Um, but there you go.